x has a dimension of length, t has a dimension of time. So what are then the dimensions of alpha, beta, capital C, and omega? I know that this x is a length, and I know that objects added to get objects on either side of an equation have to have the same dimension, and objects added together have to have the same dimension. So this whole thing here must be a length, this whole thing must be a length, and this whole thing must have a dimension of length. So let's take the first one. I know that, so this alpha t squared must be a length. Now how I would do this is I would say, okay, so this is equal to the uh, dimension of alpha, which I'll put in parentheses, which is unknown. I don't know what that is. And so then I need the dimension of the t squared, and it's a time. The solution to that is then L over t squared. So the units of alpha then is length over t squared. Beta t cubed, this also must have dimension of length, and that's equal to whatever the unit, the dimension of beta is. The units of t cubed is time cubed. The beta must multiply by t cubed to give me length, so that's length over t cubed. The dimension of beta, length over time cubed. C sine of omega t. The omega t has to be dimensionless, we know that. And sine is just uh, of a dimensionless number, is also dimensionless. So this entire sine omega t is dimensionless. So for this to have units of length, that tells us right away that the unit, the dimension of c must be length. We also know then omega t must be dimensionless. Well, omega is what we're trying to find. T has dimensions of time, and for this to be dimensionless, omega must have dimensions of 1 over time, so that the result has no dimension at all. And so the dimension of omega is 1 over time.